In today's video, we're going to be comparing two powerful garden breeds, the Agile Boxer and the Dense Bull Mastiff. Both of these breeds make excellent family protectors, but there are some huge differences when it comes to their energy and especially their training needs. So let's take a closer look. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boxer Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you become a high-level canine leader that knows everything you could possibly want to know about the incredible boxer. So if you love the boxer as much as we do here at Fenrir, start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future boxer video. Now then, let's dive into today's video and we'll see how these breeds differ so that you can make the best and most informed choice for your next canine companion. And as always, we can't know where we're going with a breed until we know where that breed's come from. So let's take a look at the history of each of these breeds a little bit so that we can see how their early jobs still affect their temperament today. Now, the Boxer was developed in the very late 1800s and is descended from the German boar hunting and blood sport breed, the Bullenbeiser, that is now extinct. They share a high energy level, guarding instinct, and a ferocious streak that made the Bullenbeiser a favourite of German nobility and now make the Boxer incredibly successful in police and military protection roles. Now, when they aren't being high level protectors, Boxers are wonderful family dogs, full of love and silly antics. Now, developed only a few decades before the Boxer, in the mid-1800s, the Bull Mastiff is the result of crossing the English Mastiff and the now-extinct Old English Bulldog. The original role of the breed was an assistant to English gamekeepers in protecting large estates from poachers. They primarily did this by running off the poachers or by running down and pinning a too slow poacher until the gamekeeper could catch up. They are a large and powerful breed that makes still an impressive deterrent today, but has a mellow enough temperament to do well as an amazing part of the family. Sorry to very quickly interrupt the video, guys. I just wanted to let you know, if you haven't done it already, over on our website, FenrirCanineLeaders.com, we have a completely free quiz that I designed myself for you to be able to take. It asks you a few questions based on some of the things that I think are really important for what guard dog breed will be perfect for you. So you go through that quiz, you answer the questions honestly, and then at the end, it will give you what I think the perfect guard dog breed for you is. And again, it's completely free, just trying to help you guys out as much as we can. So again, there'll be a link down to it in the description box below. If you haven't done it already, go, even if you're not necessarily interested in getting a guard dog breed anytime soon. I know a lot of people have found it really fun just to see what kind of breed I would recommend for you. So get stuck in, go and have a look. But without further ado, we'll get back to the video you were just watching. Now then, let's get into their differing appearances. Both breeds are solid, muscly dogs and have a boxy build to go along with square heads and jaws, and both are known to be droolers thanks to their heavy jowls. Now, the Boxer, considered a medium-sized dog, usually appears as lean and light on its feet, sporting a thin, short coat that shows off their sleek body. In some cases and countries, the Boxer's tail is docked as either a safety precaution or simply for aesthetics. The Bull Mastiff is obviously a large, giant breed of the Mastiff variety, and thanks to their loose skin and low energy, don't appear as agile as the Boxer. But make no mistake, a Bull Mastiff with the proper motivation has a huge stride and can execute the most complex of agility manoeuvres flawlessly. Now, their temperaments are both suited to family life, but for different reasons. The Boxer is a very vocal and playful dog and loves to be where their people are. They are full of energy and personality, which makes their clownish antics all more entertaining, given how loving and affectionate they are. You'll also notice that the Boxer has a very soft personality that won't do well with harsh corrections or blurry boundaries. They are extremely loyal and protective of their family, but highly trainable, thanks to their willingness to please. Now, the Bull Mastiff is similarly loyal and protective of its family, but their low energy levels mean that they are more of a cuddler than a player. They love to be with their family and keep an eye on them for as long as possible without moving from their favourite spot. Their willingness to please is tempered by their energy, which can make them stubborn and willful when they aren't in the mood to do anything. They are incredibly loyal to their family, even newborn babies, and take their role as a protector very, very seriously. And this instinct overrides their laziness when it comes to guarding the family. 
The boxer does have a more reactive personality, but given proper socialization, they will do well with other children and even some small animals in the home. You'll always need to be mindful of their active paws when playing and their bouncy nature when playing, since it can easily lead to a child getting scratched, tripped or knocked over. Some boxers grow out of this and are content to watch from the sidelines, more like a bull mastiff will. Now, a bull mastiff has very low reactivity levels that go along with their low energy. They are extraordinarily gentle around children and will hesitate to act unless there is a real clear threat. Their size can and will intimidate children and even adults, so socialization is important as a way for them to get used to this kind of hesitation from new people. They will likely investigate any new child or animal that comes into the home thoroughly and then return to their spot where they can monitor everything from a comfortable bed. Now, the Boxer and the Bull Mastiff are clearly incredible breeds and are quite adaptive to family life and it's no secret that we here at Fenrit love them both. If you want a low energy dog that doesn't need much exercise and is so calm they border on lazy, then the Bull Mastiff might make a great choice for you. If you have an active lifestyle or want to get involved with canine sports and the athletic and eager Boxer then might be the better choice for you. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. We've got two dedicated boxer videos coming to this channel every single week. So I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femrear Boxer Show.